Hi, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia, and I specialize in methylation and histamine intolerance. In this video, I'm going to discuss how issues with methylation can cause sleep issues. So I'm going to use the Pathway Planner. This is the Pathway Planner from Seeking Health Education Institute. Okay, so what I want to focus on is melatonin. Okay, so most people have heard of melatonin. It's our sleep hormone. A lot of people don't actually know how we make melatonin, okay? So we need to be consuming tryptophan, which is an amino acid. It gets converted by this enzyme with iron, makes 5-HTP. 5-HTP will then go on with vitamin B6 to make serotonin. And then serotonin will be converted into melatonin by this ASMT enzyme. And an MT means a methyl transferase, so it's a methyl transferase enzyme. It needs a methyl group to work, which is why it has SAM as the cofactor. Okay, so if you'd like to know more about how you make SAM and how you, how you support methylation, you should check out the methylation video that I have done. Okay, so essentially, if you don't have enough methyl groups, you can potentially have a lot of problems with sleep as you're not making enough melatonin. Okay, now the other thing we need to know, and you can't see it really here on this diagram except for the fact that we can see SAM basically, here's SAM, it goes around the body and it donates all these methyl groups. Methyl groups break down histamine in the brain and if you don't break down histamine in the brain, it is another major cause of insomnia. Okay, so we can see we need these methyl groups for the histamine and methyltransferase. It breaks down histamine in the brain. And we also need methyl groups for the conversion of serotonin into melatonin.